This is The Wheel Weaves Watches, a spoiler-free breakdown podcast of The Wheel of Time on Amazon Prime. I'm your host, Danny, and I'm joined by my co-host, Brett, and we're here to bring you an in-depth look into The Wheel of Time show on Amazon Prime. We'll share reactions, episode breakdowns, and relevant background information without spoiling future content from the book series. So grab a drink, and let's get watching. We're doing it. It's happening. Ah, it's happening. Ah, I'm so excited. Stay calm. Okay. <laughs> Can't believe it. This we're is here. super exciting. We are going to watch the first episode of The Wheel of Time. Here we are. Yeah. And we're super spoiled, super excited. I didn't want to get my hopes up. Yeah. But here we are going off of speculation on when the show is going to be released. We are here November 18th in yes. the evening. And we have it where we are. So it's great. That's right. Yeah. Here in Canada, we got it. A little bit early. Yep. So episode one, here we come. And we have a spread in front of us you've created for us. Yeah. So that's going to be part of it. We're going to do a Wheel of Time themed meal while we watch. I love it. The and thematic, I can see because it's leave taking for episode one. That's right. Right. So it's all the stuff so we, we take got, on the road. Yeah. We got some crusty bread. We got some apples, hard cheese, dried meats, and cured ham. And of course... Wine in mugs. Exactly. You don't bring that on the road. Wine on the road. You drink the wine before you leave. There we go. The okay, so are we ready to do this? We're doing yes. this right now? Yeah, I have to officially say this will be the last time that we... Have never seen the have show? Have never seen the show. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, we just watched the first episode of The Wheel of Time. Oh, my God. Oh, my ah! God. Okay, seriously, that was incredible. I can't believe it. I am so happy they did it. Mm -hmm. Do we have to do this thing before we do anything else? You know what? Let's do it. And because when you say this thing, show the people what you're talking about. Whoa, we did a, com a contest. We did a contest. For the wonderful TV show tie-in edition of The Eye of the World. Mm -hmm. It's got Rosamund Pike on the cover there. Yes, it does. Maureen. Yeah, provided to us by Tor Books. Yes. We had 43 people enter. Awesome. The okay. The YouTube contest. And That's some pretty good chances yeah, of winning. But 105 entries. Ooh, so people could have okay. multiple entries. Okay, okay. Uh, we drew the winner tonight. And congratulations to, I'm going to butcher this name. That happens. I'm so sorry. If it sounds like your name, then you are probably the winner. <laughs> Christos Separeth. Separis. There you go. No, you say it. Christos Spatharis from Spatharis Greece. Spatharis from Greece. <laughs> if you're in Greece and your name is Christos... You just won. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. There you go. So we're going to contact you, get your information, and send this book off to you. Very exciting. Look at All yours. It's look coming. Look split. It's coming. It's coming. Not that fast. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Now we can talk about Whew. the Wheel of Time. Okay. So, wow. It's like all the expectations, all the nerves, all the, you know, hidden secret feelings that I bury down really deep. It's like, oh, is it actually going to be good? It's good. It's we're so good. good. It's so it's amazing. That was incredible. Is that our reaction episode? Yeah, we're done, guys. We did it. It was so okay, good. Okay, on to episode two. Let's get going. That made me feel so good. So here's the thing, because we only watched the first episode. Yes, we did. And now we're going to talk about it. Yes, we are. And then we're going to go watch the second episode. That's how this podcast works. Exactly. That's how we roll. Same thing. Even though they Same gave thing. us three, even though they gave us three all at once, we're not doing it. So. Not doing it. Self control. I have four topics to talk talk about for you. I can't wait. Yeah. You did so the like, preparation. Yeah. I did the the drinking yeah it's good here we are yeah and you might notice like behind you now that's what's going to be being drank the apple brandy the apple brandy you have to have to okay the apple brandy the wine and yeah. the <laughs> usquai usquai okay here we go oh, here we go the, uh, whiskey the whiskey yes right. no book content mm -hmm. shoot that wasn't me that was you i know okay i'm bad at this i that's told okay. you i'm bad at hey guys being there's liquor the in the wheel of time i don't know if we know this but yeah i'm bad Anyways. at being the non-spoiler so here we go we got a couple topics to top talk about mm -hmm. i want to get general impressions we're not going to go like super deep dive into it mm -hmm. going to keep it light and breezy and we're gonna have some fun here i can't wait okay so first thing first the vibe the, the vibe of the TV vibe. show, the vibe of Emmonsfield. This is really important because, you know, bringing it back, one of the big things that was talked about a lot is everybody has their own internal perception of what the Wheel of Time is, yeah. what it looks like, what it feels like, what it sounds Who, like. Which characters they resonate yeah. with, which characters they can't stand. And of course, in a TV show, you can't just bring everybody's individual perspective to that. So it's got to be the general impression. And yeah. what they were pretty confident in is that they nailed the general vibe of the Wheel of Time. Yeah. 
So how did you feel? You personally, how did you feel about it? So good. Yeah? It resonated That's with you? That's all I have to say. Uh, <laughs> no, I think... Specific. Let's talk specifics. Like, we'll what talk, did you really appreciate we'll about specifics. the overall vibe of it? Okay, so overall vibe, I got it. I felt like I was there. I did too. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, yeah. the scenes, the way they shot them, yeah. the uh, eye level. I don't even know. I don't Small know. Small little mountain town village. Like I don't ooh, know fancy, fancy Hollywood entertainment, yeah, yeah. you know, stuff. But I do know Feelings. that when I watch something and I have an emotional, like I cried probably four separate times. I know. And then I looked at you crying and it's like, okay, I can't look at her because that's going to make me start gushing. It's like, oh my goodness. I love the yeah. music. The music, when they started lighting up Beltine, holy, wow, they nailed it. That was so good. It's like that, that just was brought so me right in. so good. You know, I actually mentioned it a while ago, but one of the things that I look for is the music of different TV shows. It's if like, you don't notice it. If I don't notice it or if it's <laughs> like I a- feel it and it's like it's right there, this, oh, hundo. Yeah. Absolutely. I can't even say enough I about it. I couldn't even tell you specifically what the music even was. That's how good it was. It's like, like for party me, time in the mountain country, little homes. For that. But then also, you know, the way they open, where they're yeah. chasing the guy who can clearly channel. Oh. That's clearly what's happening. And I you mean. You got the dangerous yeah. side of things. So we didn't talk about this at the top of the episode, mm-hmm. but what we're doing here is our super quick breakdown. Yeah. Reactions. Initial impressions. Yeah. And then... Once we've watched all the episodes, we're going to go back and break down. Deep dive. Deep dive. Yep. Put that out for our audio podcast. Absolutely. Because this, we just need to be able to to roll through this while continuing with our other one. So. Absolutely. A couple things I did love. We did get the iconic paragraph, right? Yeah, at We the got end. at the beginning. We So we got the legend phase and myth side, plus we yeah. got the wind. We got the wind rolling The wind through. rising where? Yes. Tell the people in the first book, where does the wind rise? You're the one who memorizes these things. I, I know I do. It. That's why I'm quizzing you. Is it the mountains of mist? It's the mountains no, of mist. Okay. <laughs> it's the mountains of mist. <laughs> See, that's the, that's the mountain range. That's like right there. That is right there. That's where Emmons Field is. It's in the mountains I know. of mist. I know. I know that. And if you are totally new to the Wheel of Time, RJ, Robert Jordan, the author, huge inspiration from Tolkien, obviously. So like... You could probably feel that. You know, while I was watching it, I got vibes yep. from... It was like Game of Thrones vibes. Yes. But... With the, with the dragon's fang on the ground there. Totally. Hundo. Oh, yep. yeah. In the dead goats or yep. whatever it was. Yeah. And... Sheep, maybe. I don't know. I'm not a... Wolves. I'm not a shepherd. It was some sort of four-legged animal skinned mm-hmm. in the shape, uh, like a very specific shape. Didn't look like it, it went looks well like for a, them. It looks like a teardrop, that yeah. kind of thing. And yeah, that was very, very Game of Thrones. Yes. Lots of like Game of Thrones-esque. And then... Also, Lord of the Rings vibes with the Trollocs. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're not talking about that. That's like... No, I'm telling you vibes. Separate category, I'm telling though. you don't, vibes I got. I don't want you to spill over into like I am. This. I'm spilling. <laughs> okay. Here we are. There was some... I saw some wine get sloshed on the couch I at one point. I did so, like, splash a little red wine. You wait, let's move into point. the next area because I want to kind of get into more of the vibes of the characters too because yeah. we got introduced to characters and we got some tragic backstories TM. So... Uh, you know what? Yeah. I am here for the backstories. That's the thing. Way like, to pull us in and connect us to every single character. You know, even if right you're gonna kill bat. someone off in like episode one, we still gotta like feel gotta a little bit about off. that. So wow, we gotta kill off. And I don't know if there's gonna be a part that's like, what do you like? Yeah. What do you? What no, do you we're not doing. What do you, what not, do you like? not like? You can bring it up here. I don't like it <laughs> oh i loved it it was fantastic not the fact that we got to see no you know parent kill his okay, own wife okay but... so, so what an interesting choice yes because i have to tell you okay parent killing his own wife obviously you think that in the um attack and everything going on yeah that like it's obviously going to be a trollic you know, if somebody's being taken at down. any point in that whole blacksmith scene where it's like the fight, 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 you're, you're just waiting for somebody to get like, you know, stuck with something. Right. Especially how they opened. But what I do have oh. to say is what a human moment. Like that was not a TV moment. Yeah. Right. Because in TV, it would be the villain who does it. And then we watch our character grieve. Sure. But this Add such another layer to Perrin. That's why I trademark tragic backstories. I know. Yeah. Seriously, though, because just 
if I were to just all of a sudden start fighting, I've never had any fighting experience. I can tell before. by the what you're doing with your hand here. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm like any better, but it's yeah, like I for also the know that watching that. <laughs> on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is not the way that you. Yeah, if I was I fighting, so. toot, toot, toot. <laughs> that's what I would do by accident. Okay. Right. Yeah. Is I if I don't have any actual experience in fighting, can and I I'm say something though? But all around. that's the thing. Perrin was going into like a little battle rage frenzy mode though, like hacking away. Like we, he had like five or six good swings on him, and then turns around and then guts her. Yeah. Wow. Just like took me r- ugh, right in uh, the feels. That was like the oh shit moment of the episode. I I think I yelled that. I may have yelled that a few times actually. Oh shit but moment. I also yelled oh shit on that first initial trolla kill when. When Egwene is dancing with the the nice boy, and then it's like ah right through the chest. Okay, yeah. Okay, so tragic backstories because I want to talk about that specifically. So we've got parent. Clearly, that's going to be a big issue because I did notice he didn't tell anybody. Like, hey, I accidentally I killed my wife. Killed her? No, no, no. That's they're like, oh shit, she died because there was a trollic attack. Can we get some predictions from both of us? Yeah. Is he gonna like bottle that up until he dies, or Definitely. is he gonna like bring it out at some? It'll point? It'll come out at some point, maybe. Okay. Not now. I think it's coming out for sure, but yeah. I think it's like episode four. Ooh, good that's what prediction. I'm saying. It's like episode four, right around there. It's been a while. He tells one person. I'm thinking this might be a thing that like comes back later. Oh, like, like later, 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 later. I love it. Okay, we got some Matt Cawthon and his family dynamics. Oh, oh my god! So just like for anybody who doesn't listen to our book podcast, yeah. Matt, from the get-go, has been one of my favorite characters. Yeah, absolutely. Definite shift in who he is from the books. Okay, yeah. Based on what his backstory is. Yeah, 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 I can see that. Because that's something, like, I didn't pick up (laughs) anything like that from the books. And so what I do have to appreciate, though, while I was watching it, so I know the amount of book fans who were involved in the making of this show, mm-hmm. including Robert Jordan's wife and editor. Yeah. Right? I have to assume that this backstory for Matt was approved. Yeah, like it can work. And therefore... Sure. Might have been some sort of backstory that Robert Jordan always had for Matt. Okay. That we just like never had time to delve into because he wasn't, you know... I see where you're going with like, that. Like kind yeah, yeah. of a main character at the beginning. Yeah. No, I can definitely see books, that. Anyway. I do like it because we've talked about this a lot of times, but the story, the book series is finished. It's finalized. It's been done for a decade. Mm-hmm. Like, it's done. So they know where the characters need to land. So anything that they're going to change from the books, I'm I'm cool. I got trust. You you have my trust af- after episode one. I trust you to bring me home got to my, it. Got so. my trust. And I just absolutely We love... didn't talk about how terrible Matt's family. So the specific oh, yeah. things, it's like, okay, the family's terrible, but he's got a couple little sisters who he clearly oh. shows up for. Oh. Like, Matt's had a rough upbringing from what it sounds like. Oh, my like. God. His own trauma he must feel. But he's here for it. He's here for and his, his family. And his mom treating him like yeah. garbage when she's all drunk. Saying you're going to be terrible just like your dad. Yeah. And we saw Matt not be terrible by going to save his little sisters. Oh. So, like, you know what? You go, Matt. Mm-hmm. And he's leaving. And he's like, yeah. see ya. So, we got some Rand and Egwene dynamics. We got to keep plugging away here. So, we got some Rand and Egwene dynamics. Some adult themes. Some adult themes. So that that's, was what? Whoa! Bah, 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 bah. You're skipping categories here again. No. Okay, you're jumping forward. No, I'm not. That's <laughs> so, the only category I want to talk about. Ran and Egwene, they're getting busy. She just had her braid done, and you're gonna tell me this is like one of those situations. It's like you're gonna tell me just because I didn't see it happen doesn't mean it didn't happen. Oh no no! It happened. Yeah. Two times. Is that what you're saying? No Two- V card. Okay. Really? Oh, I'm thinking that they, they they've been there. They they've done that before. You think they've done that before? I don't think that was the first time. No one's done nothing. I'm just saying. Oh. Oh, interesting. Come on. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I thought for sure that was the first time. <laughs> okay. All right. Sure. Yeah, that was the first time. Well, like, maybe. I thought because now she's a woman. Sure. And like from us, you know, I didn't even think that it was going to get that far. I think it went that far a couple times. So interesting. Was, That's yeah. a good point. I don't agree. But it's a okay. small village. and I don't know what else there is to do. Yeah, but such conservative values, probably. Yeah, yeah, that could happen. But it does look like that did happen with Rand. But there's a little bit of term. We got a little bit of a hint of some turmoil there because of Egwene's, like what she's doing. Not a tragic backstory, but like her future. 
because she is supposed to train with Nynaeve. I love it. You know, I love the background that we got too with Egwene, specifically with her hair braiding ceremony, because I do have to mention in the books, like I do want to do a comparison. Sure. Just like a really slight one. Keep it light. Keep it first couple of checks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super light. We enter where she has her hair braided and we get like a sentence. She had her ceremony. She just had her ceremony. Yeah, we didn't get the whole. And so it was so nice that we got to... To see it and (laughs) be a part of it, it was more emotional that way. And part of it's getting pushed into the river. Because that, that was the first thing, that was the first thing that made me cry, was Egwene getting her hair braided by Nynaeve and us getting to see that for Egwene. (laughs) There we go. So Egwene, again, moving up and she's going to become wisdom from what it sounded like. So, so, so good. But it's interesting because what Rand didn't like about that was the fact that that means that, you know, no husband, no children, that's that's what it's going to be now. So that relationship seems a little bit, uh, you know, tenuous now. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah, but we'll see because now... And then uh, Nynaeve had a really bad opening to the relationship with Moraine. I don't think they like each other. I know. You got to go out there and say that. I love that dynamic. Got off on the wrong foot. That is played off. Chef's kiss. Oh. (laughs) So perfect. There's a distaste in her mouth. There is. Yes. Nothing more on brand for Nynaeve. Yes. Than hating Aes Sedai. And... I love it. And I don't know if you picked up on the whole, it. the White Tower is like analogous to an ivory tower, but that's exactly the impression that Nynaeve gives. It's like, hey, the wisdom. She wasn't good enough She for was you. a poor, dirty, you know, girl from the country and you turned your back on them. Like not Maureen specifically, yeah, but yeah. it's like the Aes Sedai as a power. Yeah, that so, was bold. I love that. That is, yeah. Very exciting. Very exciting. That's so, so, so good. Okay, next one I want to talk about, next category. We have special effects yep. and the blood and guts that we got to see. Yep. So, one of the questions leading in to this show was how far are they going to take it and is it going to be far enough, right? Mm-hmm. I didn't, I don't think that too far was ever on the table. Like, I didn't really think it was going to be like a rated R version of like, ooh, really? Yeah. But... Do you think that they did a good job on the amount? It wasn't like Quentin Tarantino or anything. Yeah, like Kill Bill yeah. style. Like, okay, all the blood splatters on the on the camera lens and everything. But we got to see a heck of a lot of like blood, guts, and gore and violence. Yep. How did you feel about that? What I saw, I was fine with. You're here for it. Okay, so you like, you, did you want more? Were you ever left for like, ooh, I need, I need more of that to really um, show me that something's getting killed? No. No, you're comfortable? No, okay. I was fine with the level. What about you? Uh, I thought it was a very nice taste between, like, I'm thinking Lord of the Rings and between Game of Thrones, where it's like Game of Thrones was maybe a little too gratuitous. That's what I was trying to say before you cut me off. Okay. (laughs) It's like right between. They hedge. They hedge. Yes. Because Game of Thrones was always like, I'm going to, you know, crush your skull and you're going to see all of it. Yeah. And then Lord of the Rings was like a little bit not enough for me, honestly. It was like, hey, I'm going to kill some orcs, but... Why is my nice sword balance. clean at the end of that? So, but here it's like I'm getting to see Perrin hack a trollic apart and get blood splattered and get and... blood splattered and like it's it was like yeah I'm here okay we got it we did it yeah nice comparison yeah and then in terms of special effects the channeling channeling that that was on the list yeah absolutely um yay or nay medium okay you're taking it okay you're taking a medium sense I wish we couldn't see every weave. I mean, like, I get, okay, I get, I get that. Yeah. I get the under, I get the impression they're trying to give. You need to show me that they're doing things. You need to show me that they're channeling. Because yeah. if it was just Rosamund Pike in a bathtub with Lan being like, yeah. Like, less, you know, <laughs> I just waved my hands around. But it's less That's impactful. I get that. So we talked about this too, where it's like right now they need to show us that she's I said I and they can do magic and channeling and stuff i think they might progress to the point where it's like maybe translucent like yeah, she's doing it where exactly. people can't tell well even like even at the very interesting with the red aja sisters there who are like capturing she that was man. channeling and we couldn't see it right we we didn't really see like we saw the rocks fall down and we, and saw, we saw her, her doing her something go, to the guy stop. Yeah. yeah but we didn't really see it so it could be like, hey, we're showing that more. This is how it works. Mm. And we get did get to see the functional pulling of power from different sources, like the bricks from the building and the ground and the sky and the, and from you know, the, fire. the fire and all that. So mm-hmm. very the elemental. Cool. Yeah. What they use. But yeah. again, I, I will say that I agree with you on the like medium on the channeling special effects in the sense that I get that this is a TV show and they have a budget and I want eight seasons of this. So I'll take like a little not, you know, 
<laughs> not exactly what I had in my head. Like a Marvel style, like special effects budget. I I, I get that, mm-hmm. but I I'm I'm still cool with it. Like I still love it. Yeah, I'm here for it. Yeah, I wasn't. I get the slowdown, the yeah. slow motion and stuff, but some of it seemed almost. What's the word I'm looking for? Dancy? I don't know. Not dancy. It was dancy. I like that. A little bit, like, not animatronic, but... I don't know the word you're uh, going for. Anyways. Like, in a video game. Like, I would, like, what she was doing, like, I would see people do... Like, I Well, you know, there is a Wheel of Time video game, so it's very old, but... Yeah, no, that's not what I'm talking about. But, like, yeah, it just, like, that specific, like, little box... Sure. Didn't uh, check it out. Okay. It was, like... Okay. Okay. Let's talk about the Trollocs, Shadow Spawn. Those are excellent. So, so good. I love how so big good. they are, how strong they are, tossing people around. I love the fact that they were shown eating people. And the creepiest thing was the ones that we saw down on all fours running, running to chase people and then standing up and like attacking. With- it's like they're animals. But wow. Yeah, yeah. I just like mind blowing from that. Was that. that was excellent. They did such a good. I Okay. I can't. I can't. That's what it was. So good. Nice little fade on a horse riding into town. Mm-hmm. We didn't get to see much of that, but uh, maybe maybe episode two. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. Last topic to talk about, and then we're going to wrap up because we have to go watch episode two. Oh. And keep in mind, we're going to do, gonna deep do dive. it tonight. We'll deep dive later. Yes, okay? we will deep dive later. This is just initial Last thing reactions. we got to talk about. Um, no, before you move on. Okay. We haven't yet talked about Lan's butt. Oh, great scene. Love we it. We got a land butt. We got a land butt, and I just would be remiss if I didn't mention that we got a land butt. You know what? I think that, oh, it's actually kind of funny that you bring that up, too, because we were talking about the fact that, on record, this is for everyone watching, Maureen and Land's relationship is platonic. Oh, yeah. Rosamund Pike, every interview spoke to- If anyone's not sure about that is a platonic relationship, that is not a sexy bath that's happening there. And it was a little bit, you know, I could see how people could get there, that they're clearly in a relationship. They're taking a bath together. Yeah. Because it came right off of the um, Egwene and Rand makeout, like, into more. And then, like, right away, (laughs) you know- Pull back. And, there we and, go. And it's like a more mature, let's have a bath together relationship. But no, platon- that's a platonic yeah. relationship. Yeah, well, that's the bathtub for Emmons Field. And it's like, if you want to, everybody's got to get in that bathtub. Yeah. Rub a dub dub. Sure. Okay. An ice, a die, and a water in a tub. There so we let's go. Talk okay. About the last end. thing. Okay, the last topic cliffhangers, which is great because it's like, draw me into episode two. Where is I wasn't naive. sure if we were going to watch episode two at all. I was like, going to turn it off and be like, that's fine. I'm joking. That's a joke. No, we just didn't know if yeah. we were going to watch it today or tomorrow. So cliffhangers, biggest cliffhanger. Nynaeve got dragged off from the Emmons Field. Oh and my god! Didn't she's return. gone? She didn't return. She's gone. <laughs> and uh, that was and the most. That was surprising. The Emmons Field four are leaving. They're leaving. Egwene, Rand, Matt, and Perrin with Morin Alan are leaving. They're gone. Yeah. Nynaeve got, got dragged got off from the forest. Four to Viren. Yep. We got confirmation that Nynaeve is too old. Yes. That little conversation. Yep. We're looking around age 20, people. Mm-hmm. That's the age that we're looking at That's here. That's the so. age. Okay. And Nynaeve is not 25, 26? 25, yeah, 26. Okay. okay. Cool. So not her. So Nynaeve, what happens to her? How that progresses? Where she is? Is she saving herself? Like what's going on? Mm. Uh, the cliffhanger of Perrin's wife being killed by Perrin. I like that cliffhanger because we were left with a huge, like, is he going to tell someone? Did he, did they just, like, they all rode off? Like, where is that going? Okay, another one. Tam, not dead. Tam, we not got dead. To, we got to see some more healing. healing. That's a thing. And Trolloc Poison Blades. So you got to look up for that. Trolloc Poison Blades. And the last thing, Emmons Field destroyed. And there's so many casualties. So many casualties and they just yeah. leave to hopefully divert the horde of Trollocs chasing them. Coming down the mountain. Yeah. And they literally leave. And we hopefully gotta go. They, and, and we see the Trollocs at the very end going around the, like, smoldering... Yeah, because tutors. they really aren't there for the village. They're there for the four. Yeah. So it looks like that's where we're going and we're headed off. Yeah, and I have to say, I, what I really appreciated was we got to see everybody's... Re- 
um, response and reaction to the Trolloc attack. Mm -hmm. We got to see how it impacted Perrin. We got to see how it impacted Matt and Egwene. And then we also got to see how it impacted Rand, which we didn't talk about the iconic scene of the Trolloc at the farmhouse. Oh, very much so, right? Didn't go down, obviously. I was obviously, so but happy cool. for that. Yeah. That's a scene I was so happy for. Yeah, to actually yeah. see that. There was no kettle being thrown from what I could see. No kettle. Rewatch. Maybe there's like a kettle on. So there's no, some, there's, there's gotta a be, kettle on the fire, but it's never There thrown. are Easter eggs uh, in abundance, I'm sure, for us to dig out after. Oh, we have to and go and And we can deep dive into that after, but not now. Lots and lots and lots. But yeah, so here we go. Episode two, we are going to roll into this. That's right. Shadows waiting. Ooh. Shadows waiting. So here we go. I can't wait. Okay. Hold on. Let me just think for one second. Sure. If there's anything else that's like pressing me, it's just like watching it and doing this right there was away. There's so much, so much happened. You know, My didn't brain take is any overloaded. Notes and I don't. We just watched. We enjoyed that. it. We had to just do it. We had to enjoy it. I'm sure there are so many things I'm. That's missing what the deep right dives for. Don't worry about it. We'll cover it in the next episode too. If we have to like do call, it's fine. You know how many things? You know how many episodes we can put out for this? It's good. Okay, I'll trust you then. Yep. Okay, sounds good. And as we say around here, it's part of the pattern now. It's part of the pattern. <laughs>